Hi everyone, this is what you need to do to make your Xbox 360 controller work with Windows Media Center on the PC. First of all, you're going to need one of these, a wireless dongle adapter, and obviously an Xbox control pad. You can do it with a wireless one as well, a uh, wired one, sorry, but I've done it with a wireless one. And I found out by looking on Google as you do and I found on this forum so special thanks to James Norman 93 and he's actually posted all the links you'll need to get the software to do this and you need to go and get this program called joy to key and I'll show you where you get that you go here and get the link for a start and then you'll get that page this is joy to key and you scroll all the way down to the bottom it shows you how to use it there but that doesn't matter for now and click the download button I've already done this so I won't show you that and then you get the joy to key program which is this program here and as you can see I've already got it set up but the, the good thing about what this old boy's done in his forum is he's, he's put the link right at the bottom here there we go there's the latest one he's done in so you can just download this so click on that and then download it and save it I've already done that so I won't do that for now and then what you do is you go into the folder which joy to key is in and you just copy and paste what you got with that download into here so you can see joy to key and there you go windows media center xbox 360 controller config so copy and paste and put that in there easy peasy and then that will automatically come up on here and then it's all done for you you don't need to do anything else if you want it to start when you turn your computer on you'll need to set it up so that it starts there you can do that by using MS config and just select him to start joy to key when you start your computer also I haven't done this but you can use if you go to this website you can use your controller as a mouse as well but I didn't want to do that haven't tried it don't know if it works I've heard from other people that it does but you can go to this website and find a way of doing it there so as you can see I just fire up Windows Media Center and obviously you won't be able to see me doing this but I'm controlling it with my controller If you need to know what buttons to press, you can find this, and it just shows you which buttons do what. Windows Media Center Quick Reference for Xbox 360. If you just do a quick Google search, you'll be able to find it. And there you have it. I'm using my controller to go through all my things on there anyway thanks for listening just thought I'd share that with you and um, see you later